Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Four Minute Film School. I'm Ted from The A-Team. Today we're gonna to be going over 17 different outfits and how to properly love them. Steven is here. Steven is a professional sound guy working in LA. And I made this list without Steven's knowledge. And we're gonna go through one by one and Steven's gonna tell us how he would love that scenario. I'm gonna try, yeah. You ready? Yeah. All right, here we go. Number one, t-shirt and jeans. T-shirt and jeans. So for that, what I do is a moleskin sandwich. This is Dr. Scholl's moleskin plus padding. You can mm -hmm. find this at any uh, pharmacy store, like a Rite Aid, CVS, Walgreens, etc. And what we use them for, I like to call them lob sandwiches. So what you do is you're gonna take the lob, you're gonna put it in between the two of them. And then we get some top stick, which is like a, an adhesive. It's like double-sided tape almost. Pop that in there, put this on the back. You rip that off, and then you just put it on the person's sternum, and uh, the pack you can just put ni nice and neatly uh, on the back of them. Number two, dress shirts. Dress shirts. The thing about dress shirts is that they get like starchy and super ruffly. So what you're gonna wanna do is put the mic between the buttons. This is called pocket tapes. It's basically like putty. You take some of this stuff, you wrap it around that mic, and you're gonna wanna put it in between the buttons. Then you'll be okay, and then, you know, run the wire. If it's a dress shirt, then you probably want to go with a ankle strap. Suit and tie, I would do something very similar, but you get that tie in the way. So you don't want to put it on the sternum in between the buttons because that tie is going to be rubbing up against it. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to put the microphone in the knot of the tie. And uh, yeah, just move it down a bit and then you're going to put it kind of in the front of that tie, mm -hmm. facing downward. So layers, what I would do for that is I would utilize these right. little stickies. There's an adhesive here. What you wanna do is you're gonna throw the mic on there and we're gonna throw on this other thing, which is a rye coat. Okay. Over cover. Sorry. It's a dead cat for a mic and it really helps with rustling on clothing and everything like that. What you're gonna wanna do is uh, pop it on the, the most outside layer that you can get on that. You gotta make sure that the mic has room to breathe the opposite of layers. Bro tank? <laughs> Bro tank. You're probably gonna have to put it like right there ish. Okay. It's also gonna depend on the color. Maybe it's a white see through. In that case, there's different kinds of colored lavaliers. Spaghetti straps. Spaghetti straps. That would be a thing of like probably gonna be a, a safe bet, you know, in the sternum or near the cleavage. What you could also do as an alternative is a hair mic, which is what it sounds like of putting a mic like in somebody's hair and hiding it within their hairline. That's now, granted, crazy. that's gonna have a lot to do with like camera blocking and everything like that, but um, that is an option. And number seven, I've got a sundress. Oh, easy, easy peasy. We're gonna use some of these. Uh, these are called Neopacks. You can purchase them at True Audio. They're just basically a strap that is gonna go right onto your foot. Yeah. And that's where you can hide that transmitter. Foot I would recommend most likely because it's a flowy dress anyways. Number eight, short short cocktail dress. Um, you're just like losing articles of clothing. Yes we are. Um, <laughs> So Mike the same here, thing. Mike right here there. between the cleavage. Um, uh, a waist could be good or a thigh possibly. And that would go right here on kind of the outside of the thigh? Correct, yes. I see, okay. Number nine, yoga outfit. You're probably gonna want a waist again because the thing about those pants is they're just super tight so you'll be lucky if you could run a wire down them at all. Go with a waist on that one. Leather cowboy. The thing you would have to worry about in that scenario is the fact that the clothing's just so loud. There's been points where I've been on shows where I've been listening to somebody's wire and the outfit is just horrible, it's garbage, there's just so much ruffling and everything. But then I listen to the boom and the outfit's so loud that it's getting picked up on the boom anyway, so that's, that's a wardrobe choice. That's yeah. tricky. Okay, so watch out for kind of that heavy clothing. Mm -hmm. Latex Batman. I can't speak for the, the older ones, but I'm pretty sure in the last one they just didn't wire him. So they that didn't was a, wire him. that was a boom only show. Okay. I could be incorrect. But if you had to wire him today, how would you do it? That's where pre production would come in and I would talk to wardrobe people. So you're saying that the costume would be actually altered so that you could actually get a wire in there? Yep. Number 13, varsity football uniform. That's something where I would say you might be able to get away with putting it in their helmets. A wire into the so helmet? Like, yeah, pop it right down. You gotta yeah. be a little careful of, of where you're seeing that wire on, on their the neck. neck. And then you're probably gonna wanna use a waist strap because putting an ankle in that type of situation is probably not good because they're gonna be doing a lot of running because they're football players. Number 14, scuba wetsuit. The a suit like that is so clingy that mm -hmm. it's gonna be rubbing up against your mic anyways. So for that scenario, I, I would say again, like 
pre-production, sew that wire in so that it is... Held within the suit. Yeah, held within the suit. Number 15, 19th century Victorian. That would just be on the sternum and, uh, and an oh, ankle. Number 16, chain link armor. Again, you would need to find some space between this chain mail. You can get like a, a rubber mount that will go into the mic and will kind of uh, stop unnecessary uh, noise. And number 17, our last one, 300 Spartan. Sorry, no shirt. <laughs> the thing about that particular show is like, all that was green screen. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure they got it caught in the boom as close as they wanted, airbrushed yeah. it out. <laughs> your editor will hate you. For sure. All right, you guys, so that's your episode of 4 Minute Film School on how to lob 17 different costumes with Stephen Herod. Make sure to check us out next week. We have new episodes every Monday. Also, leave us a comment below on a costume that you think we should have picked out too. We're picking one winner every week, and we're going to be giving out a free Aperture D2 microphone and an A-Lob. So tune in next week, and we'll catch you guys next time.